Hello everyone and welcome to Counselor Feature Friday. I'm your host Brian Urban. In these features we hope to give you some simple tips, tidbits and tricks to make your days easier and your patients happier. In this feature we're going to talk about the process for adding a payment to an invoice before you've added the products and services. Now there are two primary scenarios where this may occur. One is if you want to take a down payment or deposit uh, for hearing instruments, let's say, but you haven't determined the precise devices that you want uh, to order for the patient. So you know the dollar value, but maybe you didn't know um, the style, for example. Uh, so we'll look at that briefly. Then the other main example is uh, revolves around co-pays. So when the patient comes in, before they're even seen by the provider, you want to go ahead and take, let's say, a $20 copay um, prior to them being seen by the provider. So we're going to look at both those scenarios. So we're going to start here in a patient profile and we're gonna go ahead and create a new invoice, okay? Um, we'll just say this one's not paid, okay? Uh, pretty straightforward on the first scenario. Um, we don't know the hearing instruments yet we're gonna order. So in that case, uh, our patient here, Mr. Anders, uh, goes up to the front desk. Um, the provider perhaps uh, chats something to the front office staff or maybe includes something on the pop-up, uh, or I'm sorry, that or walks up to the uh, front desk with the patient and uh, lets them know what the, the down payment or deposit will be. Point being at this point, you just go ahead and take it. You just say, all right, let's go ahead and take that down payment. Um, we're going to go ahead and put in the check information and the down payment is going to be $1,000, let's say. Okay. What you'll see here, of course, is that with that payment, it's going to show uh, that the, uh, essentially the clinic, you know, the patient has a credit. Right, so it's a negative value. And if we look back here, we'll see the same thing. If we jump back into the patient's profile, once again, we're gonna see there's a $1,000 credit. At a later time, you can jump back in and simply add the items to that invoice. So then you go ahead and say, okay, we're gonna add the uh, hearing instrument. Doesn't matter which one, of course, let's go ahead and just put one in here. Um, and I'll just leave that all blank. We'll say that the patient's just being fit in one ear. Now we're gonna see, we have one device in place. There is that $1,000 payment. The amount due is the total of the devices less that $1,000. Okay, so the order in this case did not matter. Uh, you can take the payment first. All right, let's look at that second scenario uh, where we want to take a copay uh, from the patient prior to seeing them for their evaluation or if they're receiving some sort of therapy appointment, you want to have a copay there as well. So, what we're going to do is we're going to jump, of course, back into the invoices tab. Once again, this is before the patient is seen. We're going to go ahead and create a new invoice for this patient. Once again, we'll skip the line items. We'll jump right to the payments. And let's say we'll do private pay, uh, cash, and $20. Okay. Just like we saw in the last scenario, this is going to show a uh, credit, of course, for the patient. And so uh, it looks like we owe them $20. So they have a standing credit of $20. Uh, what happens then is, of course, the patient is seen. Um, the provider creates the super bill. So that's going to be here in the visit. So we're going to kind of fast forward this uh, and show what the provider has done. So we see this patient's been seen for the audio. The provider has generated their codes. They've created their super bill. Looking good here. Now, in the typical workflow, when you do not have a copay in play, you would, of course, uh, send a pop-up message to the front desk. Front desk would click on that pop-up message and then would select new invoice. That would create the new invoice from this information. But at this point, we don't want to do that because we already have the invoice uh, started. We have that payment. So if you're front office staff, well, first off, if you're a provider and you're aware that it's a co-payment, you may want to say something in the note, right? This is entirely up to you. Uh, when you're sending the chat message up to the front desk, you may wish to note that, right? If you know. If not, you might say, hey, providers, just do your normal thing. Let the front office staff know that the super bill is ready. Uh, whoever's receiving this probably was the same person to the copay. So if you get that pop-up, of course, you can click on it. It'll bring you right to the screen. But instead of clicking new invoice, what you do is you jump back to the patient's profile. All right, let's go back in. Let's find that invoice with the $20 copay. All right, so there we have it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to link things up. So this is going to allow us to kind of retroactively tie that visit and invoice together. Okay, so we're going to say we want to, uh, for this uh, invoice, we want to reference back to this audio, right? The most recent encounter here. All right, and then we'll click save. That's a very important thing because it ties it together. The next step is to jump into the line items tab and say, all right, well, let's grab that super bill. Let's grab all those decisions the, providers just, the provider just made and let's pull them in. 
Now, before we do that, just to show once again, there's that $20 copay. So it's sitting on this invoice just waiting. We're going to go ahead and we're going to say import super bill. So it grabs the super bill the provider just completed, imports it. A little, I don't know if you saw that, but a little alert popped up that said uh, a super bill has been imported. And so now, there we go. Now we have our audio, our temps, and we have that $20 payment. So once again, uh, we can see what's due here. Now this would all get moderated or kind of um, fixed when it comes time for adjudicating the claim, right? Because we submit the claim for the full value. The payer is going to come back and say, yeah, the patient has a $20 copay. Yes, we know that. They're going to sign this back to patient due. So this all gets worked out as part of that insurance kind of um, um, a, a process, basically. Okay. But the long and short of this, in both scenarios, hearing and down payment, um, copay uh, related appointments or other scenarios where you may need to take a payment beforehand. You can always go ahead, take the payment, and then add your line items, your products and services at a later time, all of course in the same place. Of course, if you have any questions about this, give us a call, email us, live chat with us. We are always happy to help. Thank you very much for joining us for today's Counselor Feature Friday. And as always, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.